It's over, 47. I'm closing shop at this end. This will be your last assignment. There are two targets. Varna Ketlin, a former Romanian circus performer who's now a big player in the global grey market, and a CIA operative who's been playing both sides of the fence. Ketlin's hosting a masquerade party at the Shark Club in Vegas, and the CIA op will be there to close a deal. Even if this job isn't a setup, your presence will almost definitely be expected. You're our only surviving agent, 47. Find out whoever it is that's been coming after us. Eliminate both targets, and anyone that targets you, and exit in the vehicle I'll have ready for you in the parking garage. You've been a very effective agent, it's been pleasant to work with you. I hope the future is kind to you. So that's the deal. The dirty CIA agent will be there to drop the high-tech weapons on the host. Eliminate both of them. Anything else? It'll probably be crawling with other enemy operatives. Have you identified them? They're paid by the franchise. The franchise? That's Parchesi's group. What's their business here tonight? I think you are. You and I are all that's left of the Agency 47, and I doubt I'll survive much longer. I'm sorry to hear that. Has my fee been transferred? More than usual. I'm splitting what's left of the Agency's resources with you. Good luck, 47. It's been quite a ride. Good luck yourself. I left my briefcase here this afternoon. I was told it would be held in the staff room there. Could I have it, please? No one told me about any briefcase. Are you saying it's been stolen? Hold on, hold on, I'll check. As expected, last night's presidential debate focused on the issue.
entering the party so far, sir? So far. Some pretty amazing babes, huh? You catch a singer? Damn, is she hot. Terrible singer, though. I hadn't noticed. Oh, yeah, I had a great singer lined up, but she had a fatal accident yesterday, and they needed a real quick replacement. Go figure. This babe can't sing for diddly, and she goes running off for a break in a private room every five minutes, but who cares? Eye candy like that, you take what you can get. I'll keep that in mind. No trespassing, fella. Get out.
good time, sir? I suppose so. How about you? Tell you the truth, I'm dying for a chance at that hottie singing. First break I get, I'm heading straight to that room over there where she hangs out between sets. Having a good time, sir? I suppose so. There you are, darling. We can mix our business and pleasure in here. Follow me. Mr. 47, the fates conspire to throw us together at last. I appreciate your enthusiasm. Don't be coy with me, 47. I know all about you. You're just the ungainly outcome of a childish experiment with genetic tinker toys. Super assassin, indeed. You're less than human, and I intend to prove it. How do you intend to do that? We're going to duel. Meet cool. me in the room marked out. Torture Chamber. <laughs> Freaking bartender never even heard of a Rob Roy, for God's sake.
Mr. 47. The fates conspire to throw us together at last. I appreciate your enthusiasm. Don't be coy with me, 47. I know all about you. You're just the ungainly outcome of a childish experiment with genetic tinker toys. Super assassin, <laughs> indeed. You're less than human, and I intend to prove it. How do you intend to do that? We're going to duel. Meet me in the room marked Torture Chamber. best and second best assassins. Only the former will leave this room alive. The soundproofing will prevent any interruptions. Your equipment is positioned by the couch. Arm yourself appropriately, my mutant adversary, and we'll commence. If that's what you want. Hey, 47. Ow, oh, hey! It's me! It's me! Stop! It's me! I'm cool! Come on! Ah. What are you doing here? Just relax, please. You're my only hope. There's no one else. Your only hope for what? They're gonna kill the president. Don't want him re-elected. He'll legalize cloning, ruin their plans. Who are they? You know... them. Already got a cloning program. Want the technology to themselves. They can have it. I don't play politics. Now give me one good reason why I shouldn't put a bullet in your head. I've got millions. Got the diamonds back there. Red suitcases worth millions. All yours. What's the job? They want to hit the president in three days. In the White House. You get in there, protect him, take the assassins out. Show me the money. <gasps> Thank God. Here's some. You get the rest after. What do you say? I'll contact you with instructions on how to get me the rest of the money up front, and how to get me the mission details. But then how can I be sure that... If you're on the level, I'll do the job. If you're not, you won't be needing the money.
I thought you said you killed him. It was a very brief reprieve. We raided the agency a few days ago. You got him at his office? No. But the office has been closed and will not open again. You got the Ortmeier files. They're still in circulation. But we learned that the files are almost entirely useless without a fresh bone marrow sample from 47. So even dead, he's a threat. Only until he's cremated. About 20 minutes from now. How'd you finally get him? He got overconfident and greedy. He took on the most difficult, most highly paid assassination attempt in history. The presidential attack? The very one you asked about at the start of our conversation. Ready to hear how it really went down? We're all quite pleased to have you on this assignment, Mr. 47. The nation's gratitude... Skip the patriotism, Smith. Of course. <laughs> have you read the briefing? Not yet. Give me the big picture. The Vice President of the United States is plotting with Mark Parchesi. I assume you're familiar with him? I know his work. Good. They're planning to assassinate the President as soon as he gets back from Los Angeles. Another drink, sir? Please. There's more detailed info on both men in the briefing. Can I do anything else for you? I'm looking forward to finally working with you. I'll contact you if I need more information. Beyond that, never contact me in person again. Sorry, gentlemen. My niece's birthday. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Did you get your present? It's everything I've ever wished for. My own access card to the White House. Is the roof alarm taken care of? Yes, Pumpkin. Everything is just fine. I'm afraid Uncle has to go now. I'll call you back later and we can talk all about your party. <laughs> you know how little girls are. Listen up, 47. The President of the United States is about to be assassinated. You'd expect the CIA, FBI, or Secret Service to prevent the assassination, but we can't rely on them. We can't rely on them because the man behind this assassination is the acting Vice President. The same shadowy group that got him appointed to the Vice Presidency wants to put him into the Oval Office. They've got pull at every domestic agency. The assassins are probably already in position, in the White House. Unless you can stop them, the president will almost certainly be assassinated as soon as he returns from Los Angeles. Your targets are the notorious assassin, Mark Parchesi III, and the vice president himself. <laughs> 